With all the warmer weather we've had recently, some of the snow has begun to melt, and some people are starting to ask, what does that mean, what does that mean as far as White Christmas is concerned? So, let's take a look today to see if we actually will be having a White Christmas. Before we dive into what's happening this year, let's take a look at what's happened in the past. Here we have a graphic from climate.gov that shows the historical chances and probabilities of having a white Christmas. As you can see from much of northern Minnesota, it's very likely to have a white Christmas with greater than 90%. And as you get further west in North Dakota, it falls slightly in the Red River Valley into the west, but still greater than 80%. Which should not come to surprise as many people from this area as more often than not we do have a white Christmas. One that should be mentioned here though, this defines white Christmas as greater than one inch of snow on the ground. So years where you had snow but it wasn't quite up to one inch, that wouldn't have been a white Christmas by this definition. Some, so some people's definitions may vary slightly. Before we dive into the forecast, let's take a look at what's going on currently around the area. As you can see here, we have a widely variable snowpack. Nobody really has a lot, but some areas have more than others. Up in the Devil's Lake area, you can see a lot more snow up there versus further south into more Valley City, Lisbon, Wapaton, Fergus Falls area. And as well into northwest Minnesota from around the East Grand Forks area up through Thiefria Falls, Roseau, Baudet, Faustin. Also a decent amount of snow there. Um, so we are below average in snowfall so far this season despite having a bigger start in October for some people. But going forward, will we have more snow? We'll take a look at that after we look at a couple more things here. Uh, just in case some of you are not familiar with looking at maps like this, I have a couple webcam images I'm going to show here to kind of give you a picture of what's going on in these areas to better compare the colors to what's actually outside. So first, let's take a look in the south. Down near the North Dakota-South Dakota border on I-29, you can see there's very little snow. A little bit of snow is still in the ditches, but uh, overall little to no snow in that area. Moving further north up into West Fargo on I-94, you can see here there's more snow and especially in the shaded areas from that overpass there's snow, but uh, you know it's still not a lot of snow, a lot of that grass is still peaking out there. Moving further west to Ariska near Valley City, uh, you can see there's also some snow, more so in the distance there in the uh, you can see grass still peeking up, but you know snow still covers, so it's you know similar to what we saw in Fargo, maybe a little bit less, but pretty similar. And then jumping up north near the Devil's Lake area, uh, you can see they got uh, much more significant snow cover up there, more typical of what you'd probably expect in uh, the northern plains this time of year. Moving on, another way we can look at snow besides trying to look at a snow analysis map or just looking out the window, you can look at satellite. On here you can see all the red areas which represent ice, so that would either be snow or frozen lakes. Uh, you can see some uh, blue areas west of Devil's Lake, that's more for clouds. So um, everything without that bluish area is actually the ground, uh, either green or red. The green has to do with non-snow cover or trees, so you can notice uh, out in like the upper and lower Red Lakes area, there is snow all around that area, but with all the trees out there, it does still turn up green. So this is a interesting uh, satellite image we look at a lot here at the National Weather Service to try to help us figure out what's going on outside. But it gives you another know, way to look at what's going on with the snow, especially in the Red River Valley and to the west, since there's not as much uh, trees there to get in the way of uh, potential snow analysis. Now let's finally take a look at what people have been waiting for, the forecast. So we'll start taking a look in the north, and then we'll move our way south. So we got the forecast here for Grand Forks, North Dakota, and Roseau, Minnesota. Overall, got some uh, warmer temperatures still going to be in the area. Uh, above freezing temperatures, especially further south in Grand Forks, not quite as warm up in the Roseau area up near the border. And maybe some chances for some snow both in the middle of the week and uh, Friday, Saturday, going more into the next weekend. But all of that at this point is not expected to be very high. And these areas already have snow on the ground, so they probably have a pretty good chance for a white Christmas at this point. Moving further south, more into the Fargo Valley City area, you can see here maybe still some chances for snow, but very light snow expected, and also warmer temperatures with multiple days uh, above freezing and sunshine. So there could still be some more melting here. This area is kind of on the borderline, and honestly it will kind of depend on if you need uh, how much snow you need on the ground to call it a white Christmas yourself. 
Lastly, moving all further south, Fergus Falls, Wapton area. These areas have little to no snow on the ground, and if you're looking for a Christmas, unfortunately have little or no snow in the forecast. So they're in danger of having a non-white Christmas. So to wrap things up here, kind of have the area to the south highlighted as our area of risk of not having a white Christmas. So areas on southeastern North Dakota and west central Minnesota, they are looking like they could have little to no snow on the ground for Christmas. And even though it's usually there this time of year, it may not be here this year. Areas farther to north, especially Grand Forks, Highway 2 quarter along that in north, looking pretty likely you will have snow on the ground this Christmas. And then kind of a more undecided area, more in Fargo, Valley City kind of area where maybe, maybe not, probably depends on if you need a full inch on the ground to call it a white Christmas or not. And uh, that's what's going on here today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter at National Weather Service Grand Forks.